Hey guys, this is Life of Jesse Yosuba. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Following the arrest of the socialite Dre Hush Poppy, aka Gucci Master. So many Nigerians are already on the opinion that Hush Poppy has spoiled the name of Nigeria, especially for legit Nigerians hustling abroad. Foreign companies now think all Nigerians are scammers. A Twitter user who goes by the name Yo Daddy has tweeted. This hodge poppy news has spoiled a lot for remote workers. Just read of a guy who got turned down by five clients because he is a Nigerian. Maybe that was why the Canadian company rejected me. They thought I was a scammer. Now I am scared of applying again. It's a struggle. Yeah. Of course, it spoiled our reputation. Anyways, they say when the unfortunate happens to you, then you will know your true friends. Has one of Hodge Poppy's model girlfriend who goes by the name Almaria already has started shedding Hodge Poppy that he is like orange prisoner jumpsuit. Throwing away the good times they spent together, she wrote. Imagine telling someone they are not good enough to come and sit with the rich people because of how they are dressed, when they bought their clothes with their own money, while you literally stole the money that you used to buy outfits from the poor people. Kama is a big B, okay? So, hope you like orange. Hope you like orange, which apparently means the orange prisoner's jumpsuit forgetting the time they were twinning in his expensive cars this purple one oh please do not ask me to pronounce the name because i cannot bite my tongue before the time of the arrest amaria has earlier posted a picture of their moment together with the caption my best friend for life thanks for always keeping it real at hush puppy after she came on fire for saying such things to her best friend as she claimed the beautiful model quickly went ahead and posted another write-up which read people who know me including him know never assume when you see shit before you hear the story if there's anybody in this world who wants him to be free it's me as a friend i don't know who is fooling who here Moving forward, up next we have here Dr. Kemi Olumoyo, medical journalist Dr. Kemi Olumoyo, has also tweeted following the arrest of Hush Poppy and Co, saying, "Nothing lasts forever. I remember when my health was ridiculed. Linda should go bail all of you out. As we know, there was a time Dr. Kemi Olumoyo was asking for funds." from celebrities and so many celebrities and were giving in and Hush Poppy tweeted that she should first apologize to Linda Ikej before I can give you money Hush Poppy replies Kemi Olumoyo so now it turns out that Kemi Olumoyo is also referring Hush Poppy back to Linda Ikej I guess it's a do me I do you thing Reacting to that, an Instagram influencer who goes by the name Them Go Yeah What and Mr. Jelof has reacted to what Kemi Olumoyo was trying to say to Hodge Poppy. Kemi, eh, you know, old woman, oh, oh, let her tell you what on Instagram, of course. God bless like, say you know, respect your old age. I say, God bless like, like, say your frustration, eh, eh, too much for your body. You understand? Your frustration, eh? Just like this labor for my car. What's the worry you say? I don't understand. And the hush puppy and the cave and the cage, I mean, you know where. I mean, you know, where. I mean, get family where we take off you. Family uh, where you be a journalist. Because, say, people don't feel support you, I want to see you the vest. Say, make a like case you go be them. Say, like case next. What's the worry you say? I don't understand. Comport yourself, fool. Show. Sure. After them go what made this video, Kemi Olumoyo reacted immediately. 
in a voice note saying exclusive all the yellow boys in nigeria are calling me out and threatening me all because i broke the news of hodge puppy's arrest mr jolov is an ingrid them go hear what is a cloud chaser your gossip mail i have gossip for you i already got you the screenshot so take it and run away with it mr jolov was talking about me at one page and i didn't know this is what social media does fake people every day you come out you'll be talking about people that helped you and you don't know that they're seeing it somebody tagged me to this page them go hear word some fool was doing a video just attention seekers talking about a hush puppy he didn't give me money all the yahoo boys are coming out complaining that i called that hush puppy for the money part that's how news works okay what comes around goes around you told me to beg linda ikeji i begged her you still didn't give me the money everybody said oh yeah he's a scammer he scammed you i left it alone three years later you are arrested for a scam of course i'll bring it out at the end of the day gossip mill this is what i wrote to mr jalof i caught him calling me crazy i wasn't crazy when i was supporting his political bid yo you did it he talks it they don't support you when you know where not be you and kind of where special with this kind of where it's not get money why you don't tell her make you money when you seek? How much money before dollars and she can change? For kind of where to take care of America bills for life, not just doing anything. Why you not DM her or why you not call her? You get contact. They blame people when they try also for their own self. See, because they not support you once you do once, blah, 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 blah. Not the shame. The country where you work for how many years as a journalist, where you die, they don't even really support you. They don't really support you when you die. To so tell you they don't tire for you, they also want to make you die, go. You dare they rant up and they talk nonsense. Comport your see, package your thinking, you know. They not tell you what on Instagram, but eh, you must wise. Oh. Kemi Olumo, your pictures with Kanye West. Making it was this fool went to take a picture of me and Kanye from 2004 and saying, why can't I call Kanye? Do you know that time when I was raising money for my PTSD, when it was really bad, I came out of prison? People were writing that shit. Why don't you call the celebrities you know? You don't call celebrities because you interviewed them. I've been making calls to America. Oh, hi, Drake, do you remember me? I interviewed you. I did this, I did that. I'm now sick. It's not their job. Okay, Hush Puppy is a Nigerian. He was flashing money over the internet. He was saying he does this, he does that. I said, come and donate to my medical fund. I was doing a fundraiser. Many celebrities ended up, you know, supporting me and many fans. And then you're going to come in and go, you're going to like, you know, tell me to apologize to somebody first. Well, shit. At the time of the arrest, a lot of Nigerian guys were also arrested. One of Hodge Poppy's neighbor at the Versace Palazzo apartment in Dubai who goes by the name Efe Martins was also arrested. In the alleged scam, his Instagram page is also full of luxurious items real Nigerian name not disclosed yet by authorities. Following the arrest of Hodge Poppy and co, Dr. Kemi Olumoyo has also disclosed that Pak is another Dubai-based big boy and in Hodge Poppy's clothes kit in a circle. He was arrested alongside Hodge Poppy. Flashy luxurious items on IG page real name not known yet. Authorities will release later. Also, a veteran Nigerian producer advises that if you know your source of money is not legit, then stay off social media. If you know your source of income and your game ain't tight, stay off the fucking social media. Because guess what? You're shooting yourself, you're exposing yourself. You understand? You're trying to live a luxury lifestyle and yet you cannot prove how you make your money. Yo, they're gonna come for you. They're gonna start tracking you. The investigatory journalist has also promised that Hush Puppy was arrested yesterday in Dubai at his apartment, Versace Palazzo. Along with his entire team, I will introduce them to you one by one. The case belongs to Secret Service, FBI and the International Police Headquarters and it involves 35 million dollars wire fraud meant for the also following the arrest many of hot puppy's friends are now blocking him and deactivating their instagram account so that interpol fbi does not jump on their own trials
while some are deleting the entire account totally. Many are deleting their photos with luxurious cars and stuffs. Odogu of designers himself. It has to match. If not, we no go where around. Following the report of the arrest, Nigerian songwriter and superstar musician David Adelike, who goes by his stage name The Video, has also unfollowed Hush Puppy on Instagram. This was Hush Puppy reaction to the news that Mofa got arrested few months back. He wrote, In life, we all at a point will go through trial times. Don't be quick to mock anyone or use anyone's trial times as tool to chase clout. Yours will come and you might not survive it. We all look up to God to guide and get us through these times. I wish and pray for everyone in every part of the world going through a dark time to come out of it and become better people and God be with their families. However, Mofa shade Hodge Puppy with the same exact caption Hodge Puppy used to shade him when he entered inside EFCC net few months ago. However, he quickly deleted the post after he came under fire in the comment section. If this is your first time of being here, please check below, check below, check below. See the red subscribe button below. Click on the subscribe button below and subscribe to this channel. Do not forget to like this video. Also, scroll down and make your comments below. Let us know what you think.